Hello and welcome to Reading the Library Book. I am Emily. I am reading this book to you. Um, I'm going to just dive right in to chapter two today. Uh, If you haven't listened to chapter one, do that first and then come back to listen to chapter two, which this is. So here is chapter two. Chapter two. The next day, when the bell rang to release us from school, I hid in the coat closet for a few minutes. I thought if I got to the library a little later than usual, I might be able to avoid any of the other kids who might be turning up there. When my teacher came and found me by the art smocks, I told her I was looking for my jacket. She laughed and said, you're wearing it, silly. It's time to go home. I moved slowly enough that I missed the crush of parents and cars that usually ringed the school after school. I also missed the crowd that usually made the crossing together. The crossing guard was still there, though, and waved me up the street with her gloved hand and a curious tilt of her head. I passed the yellow house, the green house, and the blue one. I was glad that the dog didn't bark at me like it did last week. I arrived at the library with some sense of relief and pushed open the front doors. I tried to avoid the circulation desk this time. I just headed straight down the stairs to get back to my book in the comfy chair in the storeroom. All day long, I'd been looking forward to reading the next chapter in the comfy pea green chair. I collapsed into the comforting, well-worn corduroy seat and rested my head against the side for a moment, relieved. I'd made it here without running into anyone. I reached for the novel on the table where I'd left it, but it wasn't there. I thought maybe one of the librarians had reshelved it. Maybe it was on the shelf where I found it. I walked over to the shelf, and it was empty. Then I noticed the entire bookcase was cleared. There were no books on it at all, just little balls of dust and a few stray pieces of paper. I was disappointed. I'd thought about that book all day at school. Maybe there was another copy upstairs. I looked around the storeroom and noticed that all of those bookcases were empty too. How did they clear out so many books in a day? A project like that should take weeks, I would have thought. I walked to the garage to see if my dad might be around, but the bookmobile was out, and so he must have been out delivering books. It was strange, too. All the piles of books that usually ringed the garage were also gone. It was all strangely quiet. Given that there was nothing to read down here anymore, I decided to go upstairs and ask the librarians or the ladies at the desk what was going on. It was quiet upstairs, and I quickly discovered that there was no one at the circulation desk. I turned to pay my respects to all the books in the adult section that I looked forward to reading one day and found, to my horror that all of those books seemed to be gone as well. The shelves looked like a forest of ladders, not bookshelves. I ran over to them to investigate. Maybe the books were just hiding. But no. Every single shelf was empty. I checked. This was very bad. I ran into the children's room, ready to get some answers about what had happened from Ms. Derrida, the children's librarian. But no one was at the desk. I looked around and discovered the shelves in the children's room were empty, too. Every single book in the entire library was gone. This was a disaster. And no one seemed to be around. Were they all in the staff room trying to find the books? I wasn't supposed to go back there by myself, but this was an emergency. So I knocked and went in. It was empty. There were no books on anyone's desks, and there wasn't a single librarian back there. I called out. I was nervous about making such a big noise in a library, but this was turning into a real emergency. The library was missing. Not only its books, but also all of its librarians. 
that, my friends, is chapter two. And I know it's a short one, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to record chapter three pretty soon here, too. So if you really need to, you know, know what happens next, um, you'll get chapter three pretty soon. Um, yeah, so uh, I haven't ha- heard back from any listeners just yet, but when I do, I would love to put your questions, your thoughts, your wonderings here at the end of the podcast. I'm going to try and do... Uh, read the chapter towards the beginning, and then uh, and then give you some some answers to questions if I have answers, or um, just share things that that people have shared with me about the book um, at the end of the of the chapter. I think that's how it's going to go, but you know we'll see as we go along. This is an evolving process. Um, so for those of you who uh, are listening, thank you so much for listening to the book. Your just ears are really important to the, the, the process of creating it. So thank you very much for listening. Um, if you would like to share your questions, your thoughts, your drawings, your ideas, whatever, um, with me, you can. If you're in the Anchor Podcast uh, app, um, which some of you may have, probably not most of you though, but in that app, which is the, the app that I use to record the podcast or actually to upload the podcast and distribute it, um, you can just go ahead and leave a message in the app and I'll get it. Um, but I'm going to guess most people don't have that app. So uh, other options are to call my Google uh, voice box, my v- Google voicemail, um, and uh, no one will pick up. It's just the voicemail. And the number is 646-847-8758. And you can leave any messages or ideas or thoughts or whatever there. And I have created a uh, e- an email for this podcast as well. Um, so if you want to send me an email, uh, you can send it to Leandra library at gmail.com. That's Leandra library. Leandra is the name of the character in the book and library, you know, so Leandra library at gmail.com. And that's just for this podcast. Um, and any other ways you want to communicate with me, I am happy to hear from you. Uh, yeah. So thank you again for listening. And this was chapter two. Chapter three will be coming very soon. And uh, let me know your thoughts. Thanks a lot.